So let's take a look at how to convert a WebRTC stream to HLS using Wowza Streaming Engine. And one reason why you'd want to do this is because you're currently trying to encode a video stream within the browser, which generally means using WebRTC, but you also want to play back using an HTML5 standard, and that usually means HLS. So to begin, you'll first want to make sure that Wowza Streaming Engine can accept WebRTC. And that means once you have a uh, Wowza Streaming Engine uh, license, you'll go to my account in wowza.com and click on Streamlock. It's here that you can get a SSL certificate and you'll need this in order to securely stream with WebRTC. So as you can see, I got my host name here. I got my IP address and sometimes it takes an hour or so to connect to the IP address. I have my Wazza Streaming Engine license key and then I have the ability here to download the certificate which would be placed in uh, the Wazza Streaming Engine installation under the CONF directory. Now once all that's set up, I'll want to go into Wazza Streaming Engine and under server, I can choose virtual host setup where I will add the host port for my stream lock. Now to get that I'm gonna click on edit and I could go in and click add host port to add it in but I'm just gonna click on edit for right now and show you my settings. I've set the name to be stream lock, the type streaming, the IP address, a wildcard. We're using port 443 and turned on enable SSL slash stream lock. I have a key store path entered to where my Streamlock certificate is located. I have the key store password that I've created when I created the um, SSL certificate. And then I have use WebRTC turned on. So now that you know all of that is working, uh, you'll want to go in and create the application in Wazza Streaming Engine. So I'm gonna go to the top here and I'm gonna choose add application. I'm going to click on live single server or origin and I'm going to name it. I'll name it um, Arvada, all lowercase, and you can name it what you'd like. I'm then going to go in and on the left side click on WebRTC because I want to set up all the WebRTC configurations. To do this I'll edit and then I can enable, and I'm just going to enable all the features here, as well as add an ICE candidate. Now we want UDP to be the main protocol used, and it's going to use the IP address for Wireless Streaming Engines. I'm just going to copy it over here and paste it in the IP address. And even though uh, this UDP is the priority, I'm going to edit the TCP IP address to also be the same, and then I'm going to change that priority right there to uh, use the arrow and bring UDP to the top. Okay, now that that's all configured, I'm going to save this and I'm going to restart so the application changes can take effect. Okay, now in order to test this, we have the Wowza hosted test pages. We have both a play page as well as a publish page. And as you can see, it's currently using the information uh, right here, the host name from my SSL certificate and uh, slash WebRTC dash session JSON. And uh, I'm going to add a application name for this. As you recall, I named it Arvada, all lowercase. So Arvada. And for my stream name, I'm going to call this golden because I'm currently in the golden office. Now I'm going to leave everything else by default and I'm just going to click on publish and as you can see I am live and if I go back into uh, Wowza Streaming Engine I can go under incoming streams and I can see that my golden stream is live. Alright, nice and active. Now I can just test this out. I'm just going to test it out uh, for playback right here and uh, I'm going to make this just a little smaller so you can all see it while you can see me. Not that you can't see me already in the lower left hand corner, but as you can see, the uh, again, the signaling URL is the same. I'm going to make the application Arvada and the stream name uh, Golden. And now I can play it, and there it's working. And I can even turn on the audio if you want to hear the audio. There we go. There we go. But that's kind of annoying, so I'm going to turn it off again. Um, 
Now that we know this is working and that we have everything playing back correctly, we can go in and make some changes to make this work for HLS. Now, one reason why I wanted you to hear the audio is because the audio, as you can see here through the publish page, is coming in using the Opus codec. And that's what, by default, uh, WebRTC uses. But HLS doesn't use this codec. So that means we need to transcode the audio from Opus to something that uh, HLS uses, which is AAC. So in order to do that, first of all, we need the transcoder on. So here in Wowza Streaming Engine, I'm going to the transcoder and we're going to enable it. But if I enable it right now, it's going to use the fallback template of trans rate. And I don't want to use that. I want to use audio only. The audio only one is already pre-configured to change all audio to AAC. So since it is, I'm going to go and click on edit. Under fallback, I'm going to choose audio only. We're going to save that. And then we're going to enable the transcoder. Now I can restart this. And we're ready to go. Now one thing I do want to mention, and we're just going to go back to that WebRTC play page, is that this is still working right here. Um, and it's not working because we restarted. And when we restarted, as you can see, the incoming stream got shut off. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start this up again. All right. Now I can go back to the playback page and I can verify that it is in fact playing back. There we go now. And now I'm going to go and we are going to test this using the HLS setup. So uh, for HLS, I am going to use uh, Theo Player. And if you go to Theo Player slash demo dash zone, they have this option right here to test uh, your own HLS. So this is what we're going to use. And uh, this is uh, this is the standard setup right here, but we're going to make a few changes. First of all, we'll go back to Streamlock and we'll grab our SSL uh, host name. And I'm going to just paste that in. And it's going to go for video. It's going to be Arvada. And instead of Elephant's Dream, it's going to be Golden. Now, if I were to load this up, I could load it up. And it would play it here. But uh, no audio. No audio. Why is there no audio? Because this is not the stream where it's being converted. In fact, if we go back here and go look at incoming streams once again, you'll see that it's using golden underscore AAC. That's what I need in order for the audio to be converted. So I'm going to go back and I, do I look awkward? Yes, I do. AAC. Click here to load your stream and click play. AAC. And there we go. Now we have the audio. I'm going to turn that off right now because you don't need to hear it. You're going to notice, if I were to bring this a uh, little smaller and take a look here, um, that there's definitely a lag from one to the other. But I just wanted you to see that we are both streaming to uh, HLS as well as uh, playing back. Uh, via WebRTC, um, and that's pretty much it. So hey, thanks for watching, and happy streaming.